Hey, back again, Grappling Dads, talking about jujitsu stuff and things. And things and such. Yeah, yeah. Today. So if it's dads, who else is here? Because it's just... It's uh, Paul here, Kip over there. <laughs> Paul new, and Kip. New people that Kip don't know. Paul. Yeah, that's a thing. It's a thing. We're people. Yeah. Today we have a top 10 list of what you shouldn't be doing. Did he get to 10 this time? Of course not. Fucker. Yeah. If you, if you haven't listened to a, a top 10 list from uh, Croiler before... He likes to send, uh, stop them bitches at nine. Yeah. It's a top nine list. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's a, li- a list. He's like, I'm a Gracie. Yeah. I go to fucking yeah. nine. <laughs> We're going to give you a list of stuff and things you should not be doing by the time you reach Blue Belt. Perfect. Or, so, or like Kip says, things you should be working actively to stop fucking doing as a white belt. Yes. And the quicker you can do so, the, the better off you'll be. And everybody else, too. Yes. Because they I piss still do off. all of them. <laughs> <laughs> God, you better not. I actively try to do them. Yeah. I will fish hook your eye if you do half of those to me. <laughs> Is fish hook one of them? Uh, I know one of them. He rips me hey, in the asshole. Hey, now there's 10. <laughs> yeah, don't fish hook people. Ass wipe. Day one. <laughs> exactly. Day one, don't be a tool. Yeah. That's hard. Oh, especially oh, for certain people. Jesus. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get to that eventually. I also want to get a... Uh, an email eventually. Out of the oh, oh, oh. Yeah. sorry, bro. Yeah, yeah, we're we're good gonna, email. Paulie's got something for you. We're we're, <laughs> we're gonna bust Chuck you. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, it's mostly Paul. I'm the nice one. Yeah, I couldn't not <laughs> do it, but it was a great email. It was oh, it's an awesome yeah, email. Yeah, That's exactly. why it's getting read. Yeah, but uh, still, the bust chucking is coming. Yeah, he had some good comments in there um, about an older, a few older, the older episodes. Yeah, yeah. So he's which is really epi- cool. Yeah, he's up to episode thirty-four. So I'm not sure if he's going to listen to them. And oh, I can't wait till he catch up with this shit. Pay dirt right here that he's going to. Oh, it's going to be great. Love, yeah. Because I know it's one of my actually one of my favorite things is, um, and how I like how we don't read every single email, um, is they, how excited people get to hearing themselves uh, and what they've written on the, uh, to us. Yeah, fucking love it. Oh, I heard my name on this yeah. podcast. I'm like, yeah, no. So to be I fair, never got that yeah. shit. <laughs> Nobody ever read my name out. I know. So to be fair, John, uh, you're only half as good as Sarah in Australia. Fuck, Sarah still wins. Yeah, by like God, slide. dude, every email is more insulting and more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Probably don't even listen anymore. She's like, fuck you guys, I'm out. Like, she's done with us. Every time we talk <laughs> shit about her, like we get an email again. All right, yeah. fucktards. Yeah. yeah, I have three minutes. This is all you get. Enjoy. <laughs> all right. Ouch. Will. And I do. Yeah, fun. But yeah, it's a good email, so we're going to read it after we got to mention our sponsors because they're awesome. We do. I want to top mount. Top mount. Top mount. So when you get a minute, uh, like right this very second. Now. This minute, this very minute. Not now. Uh, Topmountapparel.com. Find yourself an awesome shirt. Uh, I recommend Jiu-Jitsu and Tacos, even though I'm not allowed to buy one. <laughs> you uh, can't even get one no. as a sponsor. Yeah. He honestly, If I paid for it, he wouldn't send that fucker to me I don't think point. he fucking would. He would just send you money back. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's your fucking money back in Canadian. He'd send me a <laughs> bag full of dicks. Here, here you go, you jerk. Fucking no, Taco Bell he would send you shit. fucking pesos. Uh, oh, like, go buy funny. a taco, fuck yeah, hard. <laughs> that would be funny. He, Paul thinks tacos come from where? Taco Bell. No. God, no. Uh, Didn't you see a video that taught you better? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so after I got thrown on the bus for uh, for my lack of taste by not only Al and uh, and Croiler oh, and Croiler myself, and yourself, yeah. yeah, it was wonderful. Uh, so yeah, there's this video <clears throat> that I, I watched. It was uh, Mexican people that were trying Americanized Mexican food, and they were all nonplussed. <laughs> uh, they were all very, very like what. The, the fuck, fuck did you do this? this? Yeah, it's like, what are you, what are you doing? Here? Did they give him a chalupa? <laughs> <laughs> I just think they tried one of everything from the menu at Taco Bell, maybe Chipotle or something like that. They're going, this isn't what Mexican food is. It's just not. not. not it's really not even yeah. close. They're they're not even trying. It was funny. And it's, then, it's, then I felt bad about myself all over again. It was yes. awesome and victory. Yeah, yeah. So y'all win. Y'all win. Anyway, so uh, if you go to topmontapparel dot com. Find yourself a shirt, beanie, anything I sell that you like, and go to checkout. Type in GD10 at checkout to get yourself a nice little discount code. Do it. And enjoy uh, that. We'll be talking a little bit more about a movement that he's trying to get going, which we are in full sport of. Regardless. Uh, regardless. Um, Paulie knows about it. I don't know enough. 
and we want photos, so we're waiting for our package to come in. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, you know why I love it, and why you should is because we're and even okay it has to do with this email we got too, which is another reason I wanted to read this particular yes. one. Yes, um, we're injured ass old men. We got a lot of Fuck issues yeah. and problems, especially homeboy that rode in. Like he's fucked up. He's way oh, dude, fucked he's up. Broken he got shit. hit by a fucking car, dude. <laughs> yeah, you just had one land on you. Yeah, he, he got hit on a bicycle. Mine wasn't even. One. Mine was just kind of you just kind of rolled on you, and it wasn't a car; it was like a half a car. I don't know. That bitch was heavy. Car enough. Yeah, it was close to a car. <laughs> regardless, see what I did there? Nice, well played. The, the, the fact <laughs> of the matter is, we train regardless of the bullshit in our life. Regardless of we worked all day, we're tired, we're injured. We love this. We're, we're going to do something. Yeah. To so we have a dream, lives. and this is how we're going to get there. Exactly. It's by fighting through, regardless of being the old and broken. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. We have a few regardless that we work on. So, but we'll explain it more when I know better, and we can have photos too. Exactly. I'll back that shit up. So, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. Uh, second up on but the But you can read about it on their website. True that. So, so go to really top, cool. Yeah, topmonomerapparel.com. God, that now. dude makes me feel like less of a good person every time I talk to him. Yeah, there's the, the rare good people out there, and he's one of them for sure. So Yeah, he's amazing. We appreciate no, I'm him not going to go to amazing because he's going to get a big head. Amazeballs? And he's short, so it'll look like a lollipop. I don't want to get that big head. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Al knows I love him. Yeah, he's going. I can't wait to roll with. Oh, you he's gonna fuck us up. He wants to come up and train with us. He's gonna fuck me up. It's gonna be so great. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Oh, dude. All right, moving on. If you don't want barbarian wizard fingers, what is barbarian? Barbarian. I said that barbarian. Very very. Yeah, I, I try to be slick about it and yeah, failed it didn't, miserably. Didn't work, yeah, yeah. And I fell right in my face. Bavarian. Um, we'll just go with wizard fingers. Wizard fingers. Big old knotty knuckles from grips. Like yeah, if you, play if you want to see, look up jujitsu or judo fingers. Oh yeah. Online, just Google that shit. Yep. Ugh, yeah. If you're a white belt, disgusting. don't understand what could happen to your hands. Oh yeah. Google terrible. that. Realize that you don't want that, Ugh. and then get on Amazon, order yourself some tap tape. Uh, we prefer the death grip, but it's all good. Fission tape is Fission also tape is very excellent nice. as well. He's getting different sizes, which is really cool. Yeah, so. excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, yeah, just wrap your fingers up. Learn how to do it. It takes a little bit of time. A lot of people don't want to take the time to do it. Even if you do it wrong, it's better than not doing it at all. Yeah, see, I tried to explain that once, and you told me I was wrong. So you are, you did are you wrong. Did you change your view? Uh, no, just do it right. I'd rather you do something than nothing. So even yeah, if, even that's if you, all yeah, I was saying, and you're yeah. like, fuck you, Kip, you're wrong. Uh, it's kind of like the old belt tying thing to me. Like, you can tie a belt to get it to stick. Ha, you were talking to you Amanda on do that. it right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> She's my hero. So, I, yeah, she, she wrote us a little message, and I'm like... You know, so I, I engaged a conversation. I said, oh, by the way, good job on the belt, white yeah, belt. Yeah, she had a nice a tie on there. Nice knot. knot. Yeah, so uh, I uh, just appreciate that. Hey, yeah, uh, she's from jujitsujunkie.co. Um, that's the website that helps you find open mats while you're traveling in different areas. Excellent idea. Fucking awesome. Awesome idea. The only problem is I'm going to stop talking about it because it was like six different women practitioners that do that i think it's six i don't know i believe so um i've heard from one of them that hurts my feelings no how dare you you're so fussy like we're not point we're not cool (laughs) enough i want to keep on talking about it so long as i keep on getting the uh, flat stanley picks yeah flat stanley really with their perfectly tied belt yeah that was awesome anyways moving on moving on but yeah get on uh, get on amazon get the stuff uh do everybody a favor Leave, leave a, a review. review. Do it. It helps a lot. It really does. We love reviews too. And, but, oh, and we get the best reviews. We do. Yeah. Y'all mildly are awesome. hurtful. <laughs> yeah, mildly, <laughs> extremely funny, and it's epic. I just, I just love that uh, we've gotten big enough. I guess is the right word uh, that we have a fan base that knows us. Yeah. And knows just to be fucking mean. Yeah, they they get how stupid we are. And they're <laughs> like, I'm on board with your stupidity. Wow, you guys are assholes <laughs> to each other. I'm going to join in. <laughs> Great. And they're better at edit than us. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, they. you all know what, though? They get to plan more than we do. That's true. Like, they write an email. They get to edit that yeah, shit. And they're smarter. Evidently, the, guy who, the, the current email did not edit. So, um, nah, nah. according to Paul. No, this is fun. <laughs> this is going to be This is going to be great. Do you want to get in that now or later? Uh, let's, let's oh, wait. We still have yeah, well, a sponsor. Christ I keep sakes, forgetting. Yeah. Jeez. Well, dude, Larry pointed out, one of the listeners pointed out, also a gym compatriot, uh, <laughs> that our sponsors are quite long. Yeah. We, we, we really only have four. Yeah. <laughs> so he, what he wants is either 
like uh, just maybe put a footnote in, you know, <laughs> at the end of the show, or just be like, all right, we have uh, Top Mount Apparel, we have uh, Tap Tape, we have Black Line Jiu Jitsu, and we have Curly Gracie. Moving on, get into the show. That's what he wants. Fuck you, Larry. No. How about that? No. That's not what they get. No. Our sponsors need. They get love. They get love every damn time. That's right. Please don't caress Croiler. I don't I don't see that going well. Uh, Can you caress a gorilla? No, nah, not really. No. His baby pictures are amazingly scary. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah, speaking of sponsors, Black Lion Jiu-Jitsu, if you or your children want to come on in. Man, our kids' class it. is getting fucking huge because now they're going to go back to having just one class oh, for kids' for class. It, yeah. It's going to be like 40 kids in the gym. Yeah, it's it's fucking awesome. A lot of kids. Awesome. But yeah, yeah, but then you get to pe- then you get fun coaches like Paul and Kip to help because the blue belts yeah. get to help out. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm not helpful. sure if you call me helping. I'm just like making face in the bag, making, like, you know, making the kids laugh. Yeah, that's it, they love me. I end up just or hate me, whatever. I don't know. I just do what Willie's on half of them nice. and just move on. <laughs> yeah, kids need jujitsu. Sign them up. Do it. Do it now. Uh, confidence builder. It's unreal. It, you just I can't say enough about it from from my kids' point of view, and hell. We have my daughter's, my eldest daughter's two best friends also in the gym now. <laughs> so, yeah, we're spreading the disease. As we should. Yes. And as everyone and should. As you should too. I do. Join up them kids. They should. They should. Everyone should. Moving At on. At our gym. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to really make these long yeah. just to piss Larry right. off. And last and least, as the case may be, we have uh, a contributor to the show. Also. Dude, can we call him a member at this point of the show? I refuse. He's not a dad. He can't be. No, Sorry, no. buddy. Well, he's a dad to dogs. He's like a dog that dad. does not that, count. Dude, you'd be surprised how many people count that. I, I get that. Yeah. Dog, my dog's pretty special. Yeah. I mean, I love Fine. My dog. All right. Fine. We'll go this time. Fine. Dad. Whatever. Dad. Whatever. Yeah. Croiler. <laughs> Croiler Gracie. Uh, look him up, CroilerGracie.com. If you want a private lesson, if you want a seminar, do get a seminar. Do so. For Get the love seminar. of all that is holy, do a seminar. Yes. And, 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 and ask for a seminar on wrist locks. Fuck, his loop choke one is really good too, though. I'm sure they're all good. I just, you know, he should spread the disease of wrist locks. Yeah, but his loop chokes. Fuck, man. His loop choke one was eye-opening. It hurt, though. It hurt like a son of a bitch. Hey, he didn't show it on you. <laughs> 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 yeah, let me show it. Kip. <laughs> Thanks. That hurts. Like I didn't get it one more time. I thought I was gonna be a dummy, like nice and slow. No, really fast, really painful. <laughs> well, that way we know it works. Yeah, it, that looked like, miserable. I can't wait to do it on my partners. Yes, great. <laughs> but yeah. no, it's he's on it. You know, we give him a lot of shit, and Cause it's, it's a, fun. It's super fun, but most of it's not the most accurate information. I'm not telling you what is accurate <laughs> at this point. <laughs> at this point, you can figure it out. But he's an amazing coach, an amazing professor, and if you guys haven't heard from him, haven't been trained by him, you should be trained by him. Yeah, he he drops the knowledge. You'll Fuck. Love it. And oh man, still those speeches. Yeah, he speeches gives a really good speech at the end. Ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, you have the those? Yeah. Why? How else would you do it? Like uh, whatever, superhuman. Right. <laughs> I just assumed you <laughs> wrote it down and recited it in front of a mirror 80,000 times first. But, you know, whatever. It's cool. You do you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get into the... Uh, you e- want to do email or list? I want to do the email first. You really want to tear him a new yeah, one, don't you? I do. Just real quick. This is all out of love. Just real quick. Ish. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> all right. We got an email from John. Hello, fellow grappling dads. My name is John. I've been listening to you for a couple of weeks now. I listen while I'm at work. Good for you. I started from the beginning and I'm now up to episode number 34. So if my email touches on subjects you've already closed, oh well. (laughs) That was good. (laughs) Oh well, doing it anyway. Fair enough. I mean, you couldn't get to episode 58 first before you wrote, you know, just it's only two more weeks. I mean, 59. He couldn't wait. He's like, you guys are just too great. Yeah. Or he was bored. Or he was really bored. That could be it too. Yeah, you never know. I love your show. I find you two to be the most relatable podcasters in the BJJ community. I yeah, we are. Uh, I, I guarantee you he's listened to them all, and he knows. 
What did you just do? Yeah, I, got, I got a little mad <laughs> fired her up. All of a sudden, I just see Paul go, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, it's something, a little mad. I don't know. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. In the BJJ community. Probably because I also suck. All right. You're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> Once again, hurtful. Yeah. yeah don't like it. <laughs> Ow. Uh, yeah. I'm 37, and I started BJJ about 10 years ago. So you're kind of like me. Yeah, but he has. Yep. He's yep. very similar to so you. So you should be a black belt, but you're not because you suck like me. But have considerable less time on the match in the last few years due to injuries. I know what that's Here like. it comes, people. I am a four straight blue belt. Me too. That could probably have his ass handed to him by just a white belt. Well played, sir. My list of injuries include. A torn, min, uh, torn muscle in the lower back. Nasty whiplash. A pec torn off. Fucked up ACL in the right knee. Fucked up MCL and PCL in the left knee. And ligament damage on the sole of my foot. I am currently out of training due to a shoulder injury. I was hit by a car last year on my bike. <laughs> what the fuck? And exasperated the injury <laughs> in class about six weeks ago. So I feel in good company when I hear about how creaky y'all are. Yeah, that's us. Damn, dude. Like, damn. <laughs> got hit by a fucking car. I did not see that coming. So he gets <laughs> hit by a car, but he's like, then I just made it worse because I still rolled and then hurt it more at jujitsu. I think there was a decent dude. T- I think there was a time period in between. Dude. Yeah, that's I have so no word. I have no words. I had a car roll on top of me. Did- not a car. It was a Can-Am. So you rolled a Can-Am on top of you. And I'm not poo-pooing that at all. <laughs> but this fucker was hit by a car. And he's yeah. like, Ugh, I'm still going to train because he's a savage. Or he's just or, not that bright. Yeah. <laughs> Either one. Uh, let's be honest. We would too. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah well, I dude, know. I was still uh, rolling until I got my x-rays. And they're like, yeah, you're fucking broken. Yeah, and oh. It, then you took like three days <laughs> off. You're like. That's good enough. And I'm back. All right. And now I have nerve damage. Right. (laughs) Worth it. Good. Moving on. I do have a few points I'd like to touch on. Like I said, I'm still catching up, so I apologize that these have already been answered. First off, I have ADHD bad. Fuck you if you don't believe in it. Uh, I'm going to get to whether I believe in it in a minute. Wait, did we say we didn't believe in it at one No, I think a lot of people do say that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just don't think... I'm trying to remember if we did. We talked about a lot of shit. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't yeah, know. no, I know it's a thing. Um, fuck you if you don't believe in it. I believe in it, and I'll get to that in a second. I will choke you until <laughs> I get distracted. That was funny. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I've tried so hard to pay attention to something that I spent all my attention on the act of paying attention. That's tough, dude. (laughs) Only to realize that I didn't catch any of it. This is why martial arts calls to me. I have to use all of my senses constantly, and I get to move while learning. Yeah, good point. Yes, very good. The one... Okay, so this is fun. (laughs) All right. I know what you're going to say. All right. He goes... No, I'm just going to keep on reading. Just read. All right. (laughs) Then he goes on to say, The one-touch kill martial art is known as Demok. This is where you can allegedly... Touch someone stork during uh, stork dong meridian. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> There's stork dong meridian while their neighbor is peeing in the shade and they'll <laughs> die of a heart attack 30, 30 years, years later. later. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> That's actually very accurate. There's something called a delayed death touch. You hit them now, they die later. It's a thing people believe in. He knows about it. It must be. It must be real. More than me know to, well, know about it. So what do you do? How do you talk shit on that? I'll see you in thirty years, bitch. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You know, typically you want to do it within like a couple of days. That way, you know, just more legit. The thirty years thing. It's like it might have been just a heart attack, bro. It's like All no, right. I hit him thirty years ago. <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving it on. Worked good. It worked gooder. The term os pronounced um, O S U osu pronounced os is Japanese. It's fairly contested as to what it means. By itself, it's a crude way... Contested, it's contested. Jeez, oh, Pete. What'd I say? Contested. I'm awesome at speaking. (laughs) By itself, it is a crude way of saying to push. Weird. I've also heard that it is a shortened version of, oh my God, here we go. Hold on. Yeah, I was going to say, good luck. Bear with me. Onegaishi... Oh, fuck. I'm going to try it again. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. (laughs) 
Onegeshimasu. I'm going to go with that. That's yeah. as good as I'm going to get it. A term of thanks, I think. It was also used as a kiai, a shout, in some karates I've taken. Hmm. I think that Paul is correct about Tai Chi bitch hands. <laughs> <laughs> it is always helpful to get used to contact and where your body moves. Besides, you never know when you'll need to pat a cake a motherfucker <laughs> to death. <laughs> I left my ass off when I read that part. <laughs> like, that's good. I don't mind that y'all read this like a speaking spell since I have a southern accent, and according to Kit, that's the fucking worst. <laughs> Fuck you. My accent is genteel. <laughs> genteel. I, I think you guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Sincerely, Ish, John. Yeah, the thing about the uh, the accents, and that might have been me, is luck, man. If you're... Uh, no, I was the one that brought up the southern accent. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. It was me. So He was accurate on that one. If you're a southern lady, it sounds adorable oh my and gosh. endearing. Yes. And it's, and it's uh, to that, me, very sexy. Yes. I, I like that. Yeah. I, I like a southern accent on lady. If you're a... <laughs> I love how you're going here. If you're a dude <laughs> with a southern accent, and I don't care how many PhDs or letters you have following your name, you sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It is what it is. That's a little strong. It's, not, it's a little on the strong side. I don't think it's, um, it's that. But I'm kidding as far as you know. No, he's that yeah, dumb. Uh, that's really funny. A lot of times we say things for effect. <laughs> so if I just scroll back up, uh, he had issues he wanted to cover. Then he talked about his ADHD, and then I think he got off track and never... He never made a back. never made a point or asked us anything. I'm not sure if he just wanted to let me know about the Tai Chi push hands and uh, Osu or or what went on there. Yeah, because he more just informed rather than asked a question yeah. as he had. Yeah, because if I didn't believe in ADHD, which I do, I certainly did after that email. Hundred <laughs> percent. I'm like, you made a believer out of me, sir. <laughs> wow, ADD, ADHD you, bullshit. Yeah, you, oh wait, I read John's email. ADD is a thing. <laughs> it's a fucking thing. <laughs> He's a gentleman. <laughs> oh, uh, nice. great email. Yeah, great email. I appreciate that. Good looking out, homie. I love how we're so mean to people. And I like the fact that you know what Dim Mac meant, and that you know about the uh, the Is delayed Dim Mac, Dim Mac, the delayed death touch part of the Dim Mac. Bullshit! It's a thing. It's not. It's a thing. The, it's made up. Uh, and pat a cake, a motherfucker's death. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was good. That was gold. That was fucking that was gold, gold right there. Uh, I and liked it. legit shit. Like uh, if you're thinking about a martial art, it's like fifty fifty Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Tai Chi push ins. It could go either way. No. They're just as deadly. No. No? No. I Not think. even fucking I'm, I'm, close. I'm right. I don't care what you say. It's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Let me gently push you with the back of my hand. Oh, why, it's your turn to gently push me with the back of your hand. And it, again. It's like flow rolling. It's beautiful and perfect. No. The, the look. It looks like fucking Gumby. The, the look Kip is giving me is utter it's, disgust. It's disdain. Disdain. <laughs> it's disdain is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks for the email. It was great. And if you want to be torn apart by the Grappling Dads, yeah. just keep sending emails. Uh, the Dads at GrapplingDads.com. And you, Paul, you just said uh, we had, he hadn't had an email he wanted to read on uh, on the show in a while, so thanks, John. Yeah, Appreciate it. It was good. Not as good as Sarah, but good. Sarah, you got a lot of love up to there. Somebody, somebody should really try to dominate that crown, but uh, she she's keeps so winning. Funny. She's taking the cake. Sorry, people. All right, let's get into the uh, hashtag not pro tip, pro tip. Still trying to get that back? It's, uh, it's gone. That ship I, sailed, I son. I should give that up. I should give that up like you should give up uh, path and journey. I can't. Uh, no, you can keep it because I fucking hate right. those terms. <laughs> it's still. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? I love, didn't somebody tell me that I had to get used to it because, or I'll get used to it um, when I'm doing it lo- more, so longer? Maybe. Who told me that? Somebody said that in an email to me. That, oh, you'll learn to like it with more years. Yeah, maybe it's just too fresh. No, no I fucking think, I, I, think, I think you're just all in. You're like, you're throwing, oh, I'm so, you're, oh, dude, I'm all in. Even if I start understanding it and wanting to use it, I'm not going to. You just, you're throwing. Principle, it will not let me. You're throwing good money after bad now. You know that, right? Fuck yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Curler's pro tip. Polly asked me to list the top 10 things you shouldn't be doing anymore in jujitsu by the time you reach blue belt. So let's get right into it. Number one, you shouldn't be doing layman stupid shit. Layman. Layman. 
Love that word. Layman. The goal is to eliminate all the stupid shit out of your game. Like, A, crossing your feet when on someone's back. Now, I take issue with this, and here's why. Coiler took my back, and I asked him. I'm like, hey, bro, cross your feet. (laughs) Because what else was I going to do? So he did. What, are you going to wreck his knees? That's nice of you. Uh, I was going to do whatever it took. (laughs) And uh, so he did, and it didn't fucking matter (laughs) at all. So I'm not sure why that's a thing. What? Maybe you can cross your feet. You can start, like, breaking the rules as you get to be a black belt. I, like, <laughs> I'll cross my feet. You ain't going to do shit Because that motherfucker it. crossed his feet on me. And they're, I, I'm like, this doesn't matter. What did you try to do to it? Uh, hook his foot with my foot and then bear down on it to pop his knees out of socket with everything did I had. Did you really try to do that? Uh, well, I couldn't try because I couldn't do it. Like, he crossed his feet and he had me so bunched up and discombobulated. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that's, it, why, that's why he crossed his damn feet. Well, of course. But the fact of the matter is he did it. And I was hurt and offended <laughs> that I still couldn't do anything. He's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. I'm like, I, it, fuck. <laughs> Just fuck. Why do you have my back? Yeah. Anyway, don't cross your feet when you're... Uh, when this you motherfucker. <clears throat> Is he texting you right do you now? See his fo- do you see your phone? Do you have your alerts on for your Instagram? Oop, oop. No, I don't. This motherfucker just sent not one, but five different messages to us. Wow. <laughs> on Instagram. See, I don't, I don't have my Facebook nor my Instagram. I have my Instagram. Alerts. This is the only one because I answer uh, people. If you're talking to on Instagram, for the most part, Paulie's gone on there a little bit. Let, you're usually talking to me. Yeah. Hey, I uh, talked Amanda's ear off the other day. Who? Amanda. Yes. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. I just happened to be on Instagram. I seen these messages pop up. I'm like, ooh, hey, I can talk to somebody for once. I was going to go type back, and I'm like, oh, there's Polly's responses. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, Polly, shut up. Like, <laughs> Damn, dude, got- I let you on here once. <laughs> <laughs> she probably has a life, Paul. Stop talking. Yeah. Anyway, hey, crossing your feet went on someone's back. Hey, don't do it. Unless you're coiled. Or- no, or- seriously, that can fucking wreck your knee. If somebody, yeah, yeah. If somebody pulls on the top of your foot and pulls, you know, folds their leg over your foot and pulls... Ooh. Yeah, no, no bueno. Ooh, or pushes down however you want to put yeah. it. B, Fuck. Uh, B, pushing somebody off you when they mount you. Yeah, uh, that's that's an utter layman thing to do. So if what somebody's, are you talking about, dude? Extend them arms. <laughs> no, if you're rolling with me, for sure push me <laughs> off you. For sure. Yeah, I think yeah. everyone in our gym should push me off exactly. of them. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. If you're at our gym and you're listening to this, don't listen to that No, tip. no, no, you no. Know, if I Larry, get you mount, go ahead, fucking just push. Yep. Caleb, feel free, push me right off. Yep. Extend your arms, <laughs> leave them right there for just a couple of seconds. Perfect. Yeah. If you're not at our gym, don't fucking nor rolling do with us. Yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> so that's called, here's my arm to take home with you. <laughs> yeah, just, just grab this and rip it right off. <laughs> Please. Uh, number C. Trying to Americana someone while inside their guy. <laughs> See, this is my personal pet peeve. Like, That's what awesome. the fuck are you? Do-? I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude, don't do that. Well, they hear, they, you know, they get really used to using the key, the keyhole grip, and it's like, oh, fucking, we worked on this. They just grab onto that, yeah. <laughs> just start yeah. turning. You're like, what? It's awesome. FYI, as soon as you let go of my arm or like drop your guard for two seconds, I'm going to pass. <laughs> It's so simple once it, you just lay into it. And if you're in guard, it's not yeah. going to do anything. Right. It's my favorite Nothing. is when, when they try to cross collar choke me oh, that's from awesome. inside my guard. Yeah. And I just like put my hands down yeah. and, I, and I just Go ahead, cupcake. It's funny because I just <laughs> stare at them incredulously yeah. until they look at me like, well, this doesn't work. I'm like, no, the fuck it's not going to work. <laughs> or the cross collar from their own guard. Uh, I mean, um, like oh, when, no, so they're on the bottom and they try to cross collar me. And I'm in probably what I'm, usually they're trying when I pass to, they're like, yeah, I got you. Well, I'm in half guard. You can keep pulling if you'd like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, go ahead. I'm just going to wait till you stop. <laughs> you know, unless you know how to do a cross collar choke. Yes. And we're, yes. Like, like get good at that first. Like learn how to do it correctly because everybody's like, oh, that that's really easy. I can do that. No. Well, and the you thing, can't. Well, no. <laughs> and the thing is, and, and like I bring up the one from the bottom, because it's hard to get the angle right, because you got to get deep behind that, deep into that um, collar, yeah. like deep to really have it. And if you have to pull really hard on it, you're not doing it right. No, or if you're flaring your elbows on yeah, like, fl- a like a butterfly. I call it the chicken wing. Oh, yeah. yeah and that's how I coach my wife. When she's doing a, she'll she'll go to pull. I'm like, chicken wing, chicken wing. <laughs> then she'll reset. Yeah. She's like, fuck you. 
but it is. You do little chicken wings out the side. You're not doing anything. Right. But not that everyone doesn't know that, but there's a lot of people that don't know that. Yeah, we're just talking about stuff you shouldn't be doing by the time you get to a blue belt. So it's all the shit Duh. white belts need to learn. You stop stop, to stop doing. Stop that for sure. And the sure. quicker you do, better <laughs> it'll be. Yeah, he has D here, et cetera, et cetera. Clearly not an extensive list. Like, you could have just said something. Like, just... <sighs> we cross collar show from guard. Yeah, we said it for you. Yeah, we got that See? one. Bam. Back up right here. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you shouldn't be a mat bully anymore. If you still have that thug mentality, refer to the episode on ass hats and bag of dicks. Yeah, we have uh, being that guy in jujitsu. That it, episode kind of took off. Dude. That seems to be an issue for people. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we, I, I couldn't believe the numbers on that. I'm like, oh my Fuck. God, that's a thing. Yeah. That's yeah. a thing. When, okay, so a lot of people that join jiu-jitsu are typically not always, right? They're young men right out of high school or college, and then their wrestling career is over, See, and they still want to they still want to fight. So they have in re- I, but the only thing is, hold on, because we not at our gym though. I mean, we've had those guys. Well, oh, I, of course, well, I'm, I'm talking about typical. See, I think there's more middle aged guys that a lot of the military background, a lot of cop background people that either they don't do that or still enlisted like Caleb, um, and they come in and. They see it as we've talked about before, fucking UFC shit. Yeah, well, kind <laughs> not of. that those guys do. I'm just well, saying it's and they come in like fucking balls to the wall, or they're fucking brick houses, and they're like, yeah, I'm just gonna smash the shit out of you. <laughs> Speaking of that, is it just just me, or is all the new guys that have been starting lately shit brick houses? Fuck like, yeah! What the fuck is this? Like, Trooper, otherwise known as Dave. Jesus Christ! What is the a- fuck? He's got muscles in places. I don't even have places. No, like he fucking took his gi off, which it looked like a fucking bag of dicks on because it was fucking humongous. He hadn't shrunk it yet. Uh. And, he's, and I go, yeah, that gi's wearing you. And he took it off. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> you're humongous. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? How do you get that? Clearly, way? you don't need jujitsu. Yeah. Nobody's no fucking with you. Yeah, no. Ugh. I was scared of you. <laughs> just, no, it wasn't. No. no. You just look at him like, I'll not it. Yeah. Clearly, he's going to yeah. be spazzy. And I tap, I tap my nose. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> he's uh, going to be spazzy, and he's really strong. All right, what I'm but he at, has other things. Yeah. A, a lot of people that come in are... Uh, alpha male is not really the right term, is it? Or is it? No. No. I think it's aggressive, just... Just aggressive dudes, maybe? Competitive. Competitive? I think, I can't think competitive is the best word for yeah. it. And not. And I think all the things come into that with that we've talked about in the past... You don't want to be a shit role for people. Right. So you really, really try hard to not be a shit role. Guess what? No matter what, if you don't know enough, you're a shit role. But the cool thing is all the people above you love to help you not be a shit role. Right. So don't worry about it. They're not going to help you not be a shit role if you're not trying to not be a shit role. Yeah. Role. If you're just fucking being a goon, yeah. as uh, Corolla calls it, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to help if, you. If somebody spends 10 minutes explaining to you how to roll gently and how to use <laughs> jujitsu, and then you attack them like a mama bear defending her cubs, guess what? Like right after the conversation's yeah, yeah. done? You're not getting helped anymore. They're just going to hurt you and destroy you because yeah. fuck you, that's why. And uh, oh, I just want to throw that point out again. Um, you can say no to a roll. Just remember that. Yeah. All really, uh, if it's not going to help you learn and you know it, fucking move on. Exactly. Don't be scared to say yeah. no. But yeah, so I, I get when you first start, you're, you know, a zero, one, two stripe white belt and mm-hmm. you, your, your fight or flight is still there. Like that's yeah. still a thing. Yeah. Like uh, you have to actively fight against doing that. I mean, fuck, there's times where I do that. So if I'm getting out rolled and I'm getting manhandled by Croiler, my fight or flight kicks in a little bit and I'm like, geez, I'm using strength. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah, like, it's, it's, just, it's, it's what you fall back to. Right. It's when your technique is not working, you fall back to strength but, or speed, either yeah, one, yeah, whatever you have. You should constantly try to not use aggressive strength and muscle. No. Could, yeah. yeah, as much as you can. Right. It just doesn't help you. You're not learning. I guess the point is here is if, if you can beat somebody that way, you shouldn't. You're being a mat bully. Yeah, know that about yeah, yourself. If, if you can beat somebody with technique and skill and do it just enough to beat somebody, you're you're helping them, right? Yeah. But if you're just destroying somebody over and over and over because you can, you're being a mat bully. Like You need to, at some point, transition into helping people. 
Everyone should. That's a, yeah. that's a community that we are. That's, that's family it. that we are. Exactly. Is is making everybody better. So this is a good, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely something you have to learn. And learn quick. Um, let's use our f- new favorite person to talk about at the gym. Who am I talking about? Amanda. Oh, my God, it is. Um, so she is amazing. She's a white belt. She's Caleb's wife. Uh, not sure. I don't see it. I don't, I mean, Caleb. Uh, you know, it's weird. <laughs> she's been doing it for a long time, and he comes to every class. She's came like three weeks already significantly better. Yeah, than Caleb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, I think she doesn't like when we do that. But Caleb knows I'm kidding, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Air uh, quotes, kidding. Yeah, but she she <laughs> literally, she's got a good natural to it. I'm sure Caleb helped with that. I know they did some studying before she even started. and uh, Yeah, she's got an affinity for it. For yeah, sure. she does. She has affinity. Good, so, good and really, so does Caleb. Um, yeah, yeah, for it's, sure. It's a, like a family thing. It's kind of weird. But um, she is so good at wanting to understand specific movements. And then she tries to incorporate them quite quickly. And yeah, like she'll ask if she's being like, you can see it in her that she's really trying to be that the good role. Like she's trying to not try to freak out, even though she gave me a a scratch on my hand. (laughs) Yeah. You had it coming. I did. I was, I was helping her. That's what I get for helping. That's what you get. Fuck off. Spazzy white boat. It really hurt. Actually, I didn't really <laughs> notice, but thought it was hilarious when she did it. Spazzy white boat. And, um, <laughs> but she's doing amazing. And, but she's, it's, everyone needs to take a cue. Cause my wife did very similar. She was, once she got past like, oh, I don't want to be a shit role. Then she, Amanda never apologized for doing something wrong with my role. She wasn't, you know, she wasn't like, oh, I'm sorry, you got stuck with me. Actually, I made her come roll with me. <laughs> well, you, what she's doing is but, she's being methodical about life. Yeah, and it's... It, if, and if she has a question during a role, she's not afraid to stop the role and say, hey, I have a question. I don't don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And or, she's okay with that. She's okay with exactly we, we, what we've been saying for yep. months. Ask questions. questions. Like don't shit. be afraid to do that. Yeah. So even mid roll. Yeah, and it, so we're I'm rolling with her and just having a good old time, and I get her. I literally started the sequence <laughs> that we're working on, the um, Americana sequence yeah. that we're working on, and I got her on the on top, uh, pulled her onto her side, and I and waited for her to escape because the fuck does finishing that do for me? She got a little pissed. <laughs> Why'd you let me out? I'm like, oh, you noticed that. Nice. Got to work on that. Well, interestingly, <laughs> I, I actually gave her the position where she could do that to me. Yeah. And I made her go through the sequence, live rolling, tra- yeah. trying to escape. I mean, kind of air quotes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, putting her in the position where she could do the move that we just learned. And yep. she did it pretty accurately. It was really good. Yeah. it's. I, it's I've done the same thing with even up to baby blue belts who haven't done that. Like I'll put them in the yeah. position that we just learned in class just to so see they what they're going to do. And I'm not sure if they think I'm baiting them or if they're just not seeing it. Or see, if a lot they, of them think you're head. baiting because I've ran into that a bunch lately as, as I'm, I'll put my hand down and just wait. Like you're going to fucking attack that some bitch uh, for like the trap and roll. Right. Even I'm yeah. just like, here, here's, here's my arm trap and roll me partially. Cause I want to work off my back to get out of that position. So mm-hmm. it's, it's for me too. So I'm being a little bit greedy myself. I want you to fucking put me in a bad position. I want to get out of it. And they just sit there. And then I ask them, be like, you going to grab that at any point in time? <laughs> <laughs> just joking. They'll go, I figured you're baiting me. I'm like whether or not I am well, it's right there. Yeah. You still need to go for yeah. it yeah. because yeah. for one thing, if I'm baiting you and you don't want to take any of my baits and, but you don't know what to do, we end up just laying here. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're just snuggling. <laughs> so, <laughs> not that there's a problem with that. No, it's perfectly fine. But uh, I want to commend all of our the women that are in our school because they seem to be catching on quicker than f- anything. Yeah. My wife. Yeah, like Mel, I said, they're all very methodical yeah. about their learning. Yeah. And I think a lot of that starts and from. dedicated. Yeah, with, with its coaches. Um, a lot of them spent time with Justin, Chad, mm-hmm. and Jesse, and Morgan. Yep. And they get more time with Morgan. I think they're cheating. 
because <laughs> they get more time with Morgan. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, they really apply what Morgan shows. It's really awesome. Yeah, so, anyways, sure. just want to throw that out there. But yeah, be a nice person for a second. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be a smashy dickhead to people. Yeah, so exactly. that's sm- really what this yeah. point came down. If you're to. still a smashy dickhead, fuck you. Moving if, on. And if you have to win when you're brand new, uh, you're you. you you're well, in for you're, a rude awakening. Yeah, when when you're brand new, you need to get rid of that during your white belt days. Yes. If you still need to win as a blue belt, uh, no, you, you haven't learned enough. Right. All right. Uh, number three, you shouldn't be muscling your partners around in order to buffer for your lack of or technique deficiencies. Yeah. So even at uh, uh, four straight blue belt, such as myself, I I can do that, but I have to make it a conscious effort to do that yes and that's not bad because i'm making no. the conscious effort so all we're saying is by the time you get to a blue belt make sure you're constantly using the conscious effort to not muscle shit and if yeah. you start doing it stop immediately yeah and I always give the yeah. yeah i give the good rule of thumb is if you ever find yourself holding your breath for a te- during a technique more than likely you're pulling on it too yeah. hard because that's your natural thing when you really try hard try to pick up something really fucking heavy yep Guess what? Well, the first thing you do, <gasps> hold your breath. Yep. Even if you don't know what you're doing, you, it, once you realize yeah. it, fucking go. Oh, yep. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm putting too much yep. effort into this. Another it telltale be sign. I was rolling with uh, another new guy, uh, Austin, throwing under the bus. Have if, fun there. If, <laughs> <laughs> right, if I'm grabbing your bicep and it's shaking and, and he, he hard knows, as a rock. He knows he has that issue. Though. Oh, I'm just I'm putting yeah, it out. No, it's, like it, that's, it that's a telltale sign of it's holding your breath and you're, you know, you're flexing your arms and your shoulders and your chest and your torso. Everything is just flexed. Relax. Yeah, I, I, put, him, I, I put him in my garden. <laughs> I was honestly just trying to show him a few things just because the rule, he, I put him in a position he wasn't used to. Right. And that's my fault. I should have asked. So I was kind of being a douche by accident. Oopsies. And, uh, but literally put him in my guard. I locked my feet. And I'm like, holy shit, bro. Calm down. <laughs> Cause he, he was, his torso was vibrating. And He's I'm a like, human Sibian. Uh, it's adorable. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Fucking weird. But, uh, he's, he's a really cool cat and he has a love for it. I can't, I mean, no, just, super nice guy. And it's and I don't because he knows it. He goes, No, Justin's told me that too. Because yeah. he did a little no gi before mm-hmm. with Justin. He loves going to Justin's class. And and he's like, I know. It's it's I think with him, because I, I think, did I did that a little. I just don't think I shook as much. So I, I think there's a couple issues. There's a desire to win that's too high high. And there's a desire not to lose that's too high. And I either think one Austin is, has the, I don't want to look stupid. Right. So the third option. <laughs> so, right. You're, you're caring too much. Yeah. So if you, if you care too much is when you're going to start making those white belt mistakes, those yeah. layman mistakes. So you got to just, dude, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And, and nobody's judging you for that. Nobody Fuck, gives a shit. No. So it's okay. We're not even judging you for this. We no. just want to help. No, absolutely. We're just telling you that. And uh, I know other, a lot of other yep. people do it. And we, I guarantee mm-hmm. we have a listener out there that's been told, dude, you got to calm down. Yeah. Not because you're like flailing. Even if you're not flailing, you're you're just literally vibrating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> y'all need to stop giving a fuck whether you win or lose, or whether you look stupid or not, or what you know. You just stop. Or we're, it's yeah, just because there's, there's a lot yeah. of reasons why that can come from. Yep. Is all I'm saying because I know mine mm-hmm. was I don't want to look stupid. Right. And don't make I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to fuck up. And then a lot of mine was like oh. I don't want to be a shitty role. Interestingly, a lot that ego in jiu-jitsu, people take it as the ego is smashy person, right? But the ego is also, I don't want to look stupid. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> so it's like, it leave your ego ways. at the door. Guess what? That's part of my ego, and I yeah. knew I had it. And now, I don't, shit. If Amanda would have choked me the fuck out, or my wife, who has gotten really good at some of her chokes, mm-hmm. really good, and sneaky with them, freaking bendy little arms she has, and it, I, I don't care. And and they've been doing it less time than me. If if I'm sitting there with socks, and he freaking does, he did a beautiful fucking guard pass. Like I'm proud of my guard, my open guard. That motherfucker smashed right through it. Not smashed bad. Like he straight technique smashed me. I'm nice. Like, Ooh, that was pretty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and now I'm in a shitty position. <laughs> but it, it's it's. But it took me a while to get there. It, it really did because I just didn't want to look stupid. So I thought it would be you know get worse as the better I got. Cause I just, 
I would have that ego about me like, please, God, don't. I can't. I'm a blue belt now. Can't kill me. Can't kill. I don't give a shit. You know, you know it's funny that a lot of people that get their blue belts, they get, they get now they overthink shit. Oh, now they get it, in your it gets head. in their head. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It gets in their head. So you need to calm the fuck down, realize Again. Still, still nobody cares. No. So you shouldn't care that much. Just do your jiu-jitsu that you know. Yeah. I, I, you, most people get over it relatively quickly. Yeah. But, but even, you know, not everybody, but I, I certainly did. I got my blue belt and I started to go, oh my God, I'm tightened up. I, you know, there's expectations. And by putting those expectations on myself, because nobody else does, yeah, I ruined of my course. jiu-jitsu for a period of time until I'm like, fuck it, I'm just old and I don't care anymore. And then it got better. Yeah, see, you have to be like me. You just have to have an expectation that everyone knows I'm a jackass. I'm, <laughs> fuck, I'm good. <laughs> There's the expectation so low for me already. Right. It's like, mm, whatever, we're good. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Mm. We've tangented we, yeah. awesomely today. Oh. Enjoy. Hey, hey, this actually goes to what you just said. Number four, uh, you shouldn't be holding your breath while trying to perform a technique. <laughs> People do this. I'm letting you all know I don't read this yeah, shit yeah. the show. Look around and watch the layman. They all do it. Yeah, yeah. You can tell you hold your breath because after your roll, you're done. You're oh, yeah, yeah. Done. You so. have, like, you, you didn't even, didn't even, like, feel like you had a roll, but you can't. You have to just sit back and lean against the wall. Yeah, immediately. Yeah. So yeah, uh, concentrate on first. Breathe, people. Breathe. Yeah. Concentrate on breathing. Yeah. Just that gas tank. Con- so here's what I like. I hate it when everyone told me just work on breathing. You can't just work on fucking breathing. Okay. You can't. So what am I just gonna sit there limp and on the ground going? <sighs> um. <laughs> here's what you can do. Just have somebody put you in side control. And you say, I'm going to try to escape side control. Just please keep me in side control. So once again, and you're doing something. You're not just focusing on breathing. But, but you're not doing everything. You're concentrating on, on one aspect of jiu-jitsu. They're not going to like keep on transitioning. And so, they're not going to arm by you. They're not going to submit you. They're just going to hold you down while you concentrate on your your frames, posture, your breathing, and your escape. So it's just it, you're you're tightening down the goings-on I was so that you have an opportunity to, to that's fair enough. on it. That's not what the direction I was going, but that's fair enough. I mean, that makes sense. I would simplify it even more for a simpleton like myself. Simple, simple, simple. <laughs> Just move. Just move. So if you're in, if you're in guard, just keep playing with your hands and breathe and breathe. Try, you know, if if you don't try shit, just make sure you don't die. That's it. That's all I did. That's all I did for like eight months. I was like, eh, I'm just gonna make sure I don't die this one, and that included. Just make sure I'm breathing. So if someone did get into side control, which they're going to, if you're not really, if you're just working on defense, they're going to end up there a lot. A lot. And Especially if you just start there like yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah, or just start. Yeah, you yeah. do that a lot. And it's a great place to learn how to breathe because they can put pressure on you. It's a great place to calm, get smashed, but you can turn and learn how to take the pressure off and breathe. Yep. Because you're not, it's... It's one of those spots where if you stay tight, it's going to be hard. They're going to have to work really hard to get you out of that position, right? So it's a great place to learn how to go, okay, I'm getting smashed. Okay, I just got to remember to breathe and not let them get my cho- not, not let them get my arms or my neck. That's all I'm going to work on right now. And I did. that's just what I did. I don't right. know if that's going to help anybody else. It's just it gave me less to focus on. Yours was... Yeah is just what you said. It's just dumber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dumber. Yeah, if, if Move just, and breathe. If you're just starting out with a roll, like we're going to roll and do everything, and somebody's just using it like a jiu-jitsu dummy because you don't know enough, it's hard to concentrate on everything they're trying to do because you're getting overwhelmed with yeah. technique. It's hard to concentrate on one aspect yep. of your game, like breathing, if you're being overwhelmed yep. by everything else. So then, yeah, you just got to take it and slow everything down and tell your training partner, hey, just I'm working on this aspect. You need to help me out. Yeah. I'm, I'm spazzing out. I'm holding my breath. I'm yeah. just grabbing on. Yep. I need to get over that. So, yeah, just put yeah. me in a position and yeah, so keep the, me there. Yeah, in the line, yeah, exactly. And if you, it, let's because I also, I always give the other option because I know a lot of people don't want to say those things when you first start. I know you don't because who wants to show weakness? Mm-hmm. No one. That could be seen in your own head, of course, because no one else is going to be that way. Uh, as weakness I, I gotta admit I don't know what the fuck I'm doing no not a lot of people want to do that so I'd like to give the secondary option of just get tapped the fuck out who cares yeah 
when you're getting started, fine. If somebody wants to roll and just keep going, focus on tapping out really quickly. <laughs> yep. And if they get your arm, great. Just remember, if they get your, don't just fight back. Just go, okay, you got my arm, sweet. Let's reset and just keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Yeah, when people say tap early and tap often. Do it. Yeah. Don't let everything be fully 100% locked in and have it hurt before you decide to tap. No. Because a lot of times that could be too late. Well, it's, yeah, which is true, but it's also tough when you're starting because you don't know that. You're just like, oh, it's supposed to hurt before I tap because this is natural. Right. No, 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 no. Because now I tap really quick. I'm just Mm -hmm. like, oh, unless it's, you're trying to like. Kamora me or something, then you got to turn that shit a little bit. <laughs> not me. <laughs> my, my, no, it's just, it, that's not manly. It's just my arms seem to go articulate that way a lot. <laughs> that's funny. So, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, cool. Number five. Oh, this is my personal favorite. Shouldn't be grabbing people's fingers anymore. <laughs> personal puppies. If you are, well, you are probably the most popular guy slash gal in the school. So if you want to be popular, start grabbing fingers. <laughs> Don't grab people's fucking fingers. There's a gi on Jeez. for a fucking reason. Ugh. So I get it. Somebody's going for your for your collar, right? Yes. I, I get I get the appeal of grabbing their fingers. Yeah. Don't do that. No, don't. You can you can block their hand. Yes. Without grabbing yeah. their fingers. Literally, you'll hit someone else's hand doing the sport. It's if you decide to monster claw it. <laughs> yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people have to you know work for a living and yes. use their hands like I use my hands for a living that's how I make my money to pay for my fucking bills yes. so if you're grabbing my hands and twisting them uh, I'm gonna fuck you up don't, yeah. don't do that yeah it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's happened a lot with me I I can't <laughs> tell you not how much not recently though recently the new guys that we've had at the gym been great with that good at least in my experience maybe they listen to the podcast we've talked about this before <laughs> we have because it pisses us off <laughs> uh, just don't don't grab fingers yeah, if you find yourself doing it, let go and apologize quickly yeah. and move on. Or kill yourself. Uh, <laughs> number six, no shitty moves. Uh, for example, A, elbows in thighs while in guard. This is a big deal, people. Learn how to actually pass a guard rather than just be an elbow grinder. Did you do... Thigh grinder. Did you realize that someone that came to our gym was taught that? Uh, was fucking taught that by their professor? Correct? Am I or am I wrong? Uh, so I wasn't there. So sometimes it's misunderstood. Oh, right. I was. You mean where she was being trained? Oops, no, I mean, no. How or she? How, <laughs> how, how it was cover. being trained? Right. So, so if you're opening somebody's guard, you can have your elbow where it's going to hurt, but you're not using that to open their guard. So if you're using yes. the grinding to get them to open up, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. That's wrong. Yeah. but you're as you're popping it down and using technique and your, your elbow is in their thigh, that's one thing. Yes. But so it might be, it might be an issue of semantics, but, but still don't, don't just grind your elbow into somebody's thighs for the explicit purpose of opening their guard, because that's not, that's not a thing. Yeah. And I'll, I'll give you, I'll give the benefit of the doubt, but I'll also say that the person literally was like, well, there's things that make it hurt right there. So they've been told to like fucking rail it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it can hurt some people. It doesn't hurt me, but not ninety-nine percent of them. Yeah, no, do it. Do it all day. I, yeah. It, it. Yeah, I can feel the pressure, and it hurts. Like it's, but it doesn't hurt enough for me to react no. to it. Like it there's would so make many, me want to move my butt on an airplane. Well, there's like so it hurts many, that kind of hurt. <laughs> there's so many counters to that bullshit move. It's yes. just you're. Oh my gosh. Well, you're selling out by pushing that hard on one spot. I will throw yeah. you in a triangle so yeah. fucking quick. Cause if I move my leg, you're going to drop that arm, whatever arm, leg I move, you're literally basically basing on my freaking thigh. You're going to slip. My arms going to, my legs going to be over yeah. your freaking shoulder in two seconds. Yeah. Uh, another one, my personal favorite, is B, uh, forearm on the face. So oh, my if, God, if, I catch that occasionally. If, oh. you, if you're in my guard and you're standing up with your forearm across <laughs> my neck. That's productive. What are you, what are you doing? Like, you, you're not a blue belt. <laughs> like, don't do that shit. You need to learn how to do jiu-jitsu. Oh, have I been doing that? I don't do that. No. I don't do that, uh. no. But, yeah, people, people do it. That's white belt stuff. So by the time you're a blue belt, if you're still doing that, you stop immediately. Immediately. Yes. So you may see people, because I do, I use the cross, the paper cutter or a few different similar chokes to get people to move their arm. 
Not from garb you don't. Fuck no, because I'm doing <laughs> it. So, but I'm saying I do it a lot from side control, a lot. Or from mount, I'll just mm. until, not like mean, just enough to give them, they usually will lift their arm or try mm. to move my hand, and I sweep, sweep underneath and grab the arm. That's not what we're talking about. If what we're talking about is you literally thinking you're going to tap someone with a uh, forearm in their guard. <laughs> if, well, not only that, but let's say you're even in side control and you're trying to tap somebody out with a forearm to their face. Yeah, no, 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 That's no, not no, jujitsu. No, no, like, no, that's just... Like, getting somebody to tap doesn't mean you're doing jujitsu. No, not like, at all. Like, if you just put me in a headlock, you can get me to tap out. Does that mean you're better at me than jiu-jitsu, at mm. jiu-jitsu? No. No. It just means you're a dick. I mean, yeah. You're bigger and stronger than me. Who cares? That does not help. No. Yeah. No. Uh, C. Cross choking people's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that you got the, you got the cross collar choke. Oh, some people happens. some people tuck their chin. If you're cross collar choking their face, then do something else. So I mean, if you're in, I'm oh, sorry. Go no, no, go. If you're in a competition, you're like, fuck it, I'll squash your face. I mean, until maybe. you move. Yeah, maybe because you're not going to get the choke, yeah. and you probably won't get the tap because yeah. it's not that kind of choke. Like it's not that kind of pressure. It's not like a rear naked choke where you're you have every last bit of your power to go against their face. So most of the yeah. time, when you if you missed it and they got their chin down, you're not, even if you try it, it's just going to make them uncomfortable. Yeah. And like we said before, or Coiler did, this is this is practice. It's not competition. Yes. So if you're cross collar choking somebody and they tuck their chin, their face is in the way, and you go to finish it on your training partner, dude. Not helpful. Just, just don't. Not helpful. <laughs> All right. I do that too. Nice. <laughs> and I, I don't remember the last time I even cross collared someone. For D, he says, this is not an extensive list. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm fucking leaving. Uh, e, if you are doing any of these things, you simply have shitty technique. Quit being a bitch and just improve. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're horsing your way through stuff and you're just... You're muscling everything because you can. As a blue belt, you don't you don't need to do that. Like no. that's white belt shit because you don't know any better. A blue yeah, belt, you should yeah. know. You should know better. Like use some finesse. Use some jujitsu. <laughs> you know what I mean. I try. Usually doesn't work out well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't don't uh, don't get crappy jujitsu for the sake of winning. I don't understand why winning's that big of a deal. I literally don't even see. And I'm not that I'm special. I just, I don't understand. At this point, I don't get it. Like, I'll choke someone or, like with Amanda, I could have, whatever, fucking Kimura or What the fuck do I care? Like, I didn't, at the end of that role, I wasn't like, oh, winner! Right. <laughs> I had more fun with Jesse when I started slapping his hands when he tried to Dar's choke me. <laughs> Than I ever had, and he would have. He was whooping my ass. Like, nope, nope. Kept slapping his hand. That was more fun than anything else. I won that role. Why? I had fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, that's a good point. You know what I mean? You win when you have fun. Yeah, dude. I know it sounds corny as shit. Oh, he really does. It hurt yeah, me a little it's bit. It's kind of like it. path and journey. You win when you have fun. No, it's everybody gets a trophy. Uh, it doesn't have either one of those <laughs> words in it. I literally turned my head. Like it hurts me. Physically, those words. Oh, why do you have to do it, Paul? Any but no, so true. it's honestly, it is so true that it's. I don't. I guess I'm. I may be weird, and because oh, I've for been sure beat, you're weird. Well, fuck yeah, I've had my ass beat. I never feel any different. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, <laughs> but I just yeah, it's just not a concern of mine. Yeah, like it's good anymore. It's probably because I suck so much I just lose all the time. That Maybe I just never win. <gasps> brings us to point number seven. You shouldn't be shying away from the tougher roles. Oh, and, I just um, roll with freaking white belts all day. That's right. Uh, yeah, my go-to is like two-stripe white belts and below. You know, I got to make sure that I Oh, you're away. new here? Yeah, Come here. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I will not roll with purple belts. I refuse. Refuse. Oh, man, it's so much fun rolling with our purple belts. They jack me up in all sorts of new ways. Oh, yeah. My whole goal is to make myself yeah. laugh during those roles because yeah. I'm just getting whooped. But um, in our one of our last podcasts, we talked about that. So a lot of people will roll with people beneath them, if you will, that they know they'll win. Yeah. And then they'll roll with people that are very high above them because then it doesn't matter. There's if an they excuse lose. to lose. But uh, it, it's like if I try to avoid rolling with Dan 
you know, Whew. with me and Dan, it's it's a good 50-50. He'll win, I'll win. It's a tough roll every time. Like, it's yeah. if, if me and him just get after I it, it's, with you it's a really hard, tough roll. Um, if I shied away from that because I was afraid of losing to Dan because he's got one less stripe on his belt than I do, then I'm doing myself and him a disservice. Yeah, for sure. Like, I shouldn't shy away from that. It's No. It's nonsense. No. Especially because he's not a douche about it. It's a, a tough roll doesn't mean he's being a dick. It means his technique. It's a tough it means his technique is is as good as mine, and it's it's hard because we both know what the hell we're doing well, at an he, equal and he, level. You know, like a person like Dan, that I I know every school has a, probably a bunch of these. He's very well versed around the board. He's good mm-hmm. at pressure passes. He's good at being quick. He's good at just being pure technique. It's fun rolling with him. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Don't. Who cares if you're losing? I don't understand that mentality. Like, I, and, I've never got mad because I've lost. Yeah. And sometimes you just have a bad day or sometimes you're worried. Oh, dude, yeah. I had a bad day a few weeks ago. I, was, yeah. I just felt terrible yeah. about every what now, I yeah. did. Every now and then I go home and go, and, ooh, geez, my, I think what I'm getting f- worse. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, that was like <laughs> 10 <laughs> steps back. Pretty sure Ooh. I'm getting worse and worse at this shit. All right, so do I leave this blue belt here? <laughs> I feel I should leave it. Oh, there's a lost and found. I'll put it in there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> give it to that white belt that just kicked your ass. This yeah. is yours now. This is yours. I'm terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Number eight. You shouldn't be tapping out to pressure or uncomfortable positions. If they tap you, they tap you. If you have a previous injury or condition and you're protecting yourself, that's cool. But if you are just frustrated or stuck, you shouldn't be resetting. Uh, uh, agreed. So if Croiler is neon belling me, I'm going to tap to that fucking pressure. Sorry, homie. But if it's just kind of pressure, I'm not. Yeah, exactly. But he you removes sh- souls, though. Yeah. So if there's <laughs> with the uh, neon yeah. belly. Souls have left bodies. Yeah. There's a thing there. So if somebody's got you in side control and they got a really good side control and you're a blue belt and you're not injured. Yeah. Just work through it. Like figure it out. You're not gonna pass out. Right. Like you um, should know that by now. Yep. But like he says, there's a fine line. So if you're injured or if you're if they got your neck in a precarious position, yeah, tap out. Yeah, you know, yeah, let's yeah. not let's not be stupid about stuff. He's not saying that. He's just saying that you shouldn't go. Oh, I'm in a bad spot, and I can't get out. I'm just going to tap. No. Like if you can't get out of somebody's <laughs> mount and you're just stuck there, no, figure it out. You know, keep on. Hell you know, yeah. Use the moves you can, and, and don't just give up. Right. I've heard of that too. It's like, well, I'm just going to leave my arm out here so they stop. Right. Fuck you. Yeah, work through it. And then ask questions like, hey, I tried my, my go-to moves and it wasn't working. What were you doing to stop me? Yeah. How can I fix that? Mm-hmm. Good time to ask a question Hell rather yeah. than just giving up and moving on. Oh, and um, I have a thought real quick. Just popped in my head. Uh, just that part real quick. Do tell. When you f- If you're a blue belt or even a higher striped white belt and you're getting your ass kicked... Or they pulled a pulled a move on you. Don't ever try to cover that up. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, don't coach me when you fucked up. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. Uh, why do people oh, do that, dude? That's, a, that's you know, like a how you straight... tangented oh. off to that. But <clears throat> I see you're doing like, well, I'm getting my ass kicked by a lower belt, and I'm almost going to succumb to this armbar or choke. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You could you, do this you better. You could do this better if you just tighten those knees up, you know, bring the heels towards your butt, you know. Like, what? Don't. Just don't. Don't do that. Don't, don't coach tap people. Yes. Jesus. That's a good word. That's a good name for it. Don't coach tap people. I didn't bring, I didn't make that up. I no, I know. Yeah. I've just, yeah, I've yeah. heard it. I gotcha. just hadn't heard it recently. <laughs> yeah, coach tap. Uh, that was exactly it. Don't coach tap no people. No coach tap. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it drove me nuts. I'm like, why are we stopping? Why are you showing me yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah. What is going I've, on? I've had that a few times in my life where I'm uh, I'm rolling with somebody, uh, clearly dominant positions all the time, and they're going, yeah, you're doing really good. And you're, I'm like, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I was a lower belt. Who cares? I had yeah. a good role. I got... Yeah. I, I, a lot of times it's just my game's different than what you usually roll with right. or that goes counterintuitive to what you do or what you're working on. Right. Uh, who is, don't coach me. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm going to go back to. Don't, don't fucking coach me. Yeah. When, yeah. When like tr- when, when I, if I ask for help, hell yeah, help me all day. Or if I'm making like glaring mistakes, coach me. If I'm sitting there about to apply something, don't coach me. Yeah. No, no. If you want to tap, then go. You go, that was awesome. 
you might want to try this next time. I'll, I'll take that. That's not bad at all. Could be, you know, could you tighten it up? Because I know I've I've got people to tap on some ugly ass shit before. So oh, it would yeah, have been we, nice to be told. We all do that. Yeah, it would have been nice like, to be that told. That was like, the disgustingest <laughs> armbar. <Yeah. laughs> what the fuck was that armbar? Oh, uh, I thought it was good. It was not, but good job. <laughs> Disgustingest is a word too, by the way. Yes. Oh yeah, look yeah. it up. Uh, it. Um, number nine. You shouldn't be coaching over the instructor. If I must explain why, you should just quit jujitsu. <laughs> I was going to talk over that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that one's pretty self. If, if you don't have respect by the time you're a blue belt, like, woof. Yeah, yeah, and I, I have a tendency um, when I first became a blue belt, while they were going through all the shit that I was working on, Jesse was doing all the blue belt, boy to blue. So I'm like, I just ended up helping people, not because like I know so much better. It was just so fresh in my mind to the point where I was looking around, I'm like, Oh fuck! I'm being a douche. <laughs> Don't do that. And I walked over to Jesse. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. He goes, no, it's good, dude. I can't watch everybody. He goes, I literally just showed you this shit. I'm like, thank you, because I I, was, I wasn't trying to do that at all. I wasn't trying to be like I'm a know it all. Just literally just finished doing this. <laughs> what I want to see people do is like the coach is in the middle of showing somebody an armbar, oh. and somebody else says, oh, uh, I just watched a video on YouTube, and they <laughs> said that you should do it like this instead. <laughs> <laughs> please don't be that guy. Will you? Oh, good Lord. I'm going to go back to that because please, everyone, stop trying to ask questions during a technique being shown by your coach. Let He'll them ask teach you if there's any that questions. fucking question. If they like, get, let them get through it. Let them, let them. I hate that. Well, what if I do? This? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the move has changed. Once you ask me that question, shut the fuck up. I mean, your you, coach won't say that. Okay, I will. Okay, there's a fine line between questions like, "Hey, I didn't see where you put your foot. Am I supposed to roll <laughs> this way?" Like, there's, there's different. There's, there's semantics in here, people. Like, you can ask questions as long as they're pertinent and good ones. Yeah, where did you put yeah. your foot during that? Yeah. Not, well, what if he does this? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't he just roll out of that? It's, oh God! Shut uh, the fuck up. <laughs> uh, I'm swearing a little, uh, a little strong today. Uh, number ten. You shouldn't quit or have a defeatist attitude. Uh, I'm going home. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I quit. I'm out of here. Number 11. You should build a comfort zone, but you shouldn't live in it. Now, God damn it. That's <laughs> all I got. Two things. <laughs> two things. Uh, this is a top 10 list, Croiler, and that was number 11 already. And two, when I asked you, because he told me, like, uh, you need a bigger comfort zone. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I got nothing as reply. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's like my comfort zone croiler, <clears throat> this view croiler, is uh, three stripe white belts and below. I feel pretty <laughs> comfortable with that. Comfort. Uh, I'm really out of any comfort zone when I'm rolling with you. Like I don't have a zone that's comfortable. No, that's that zone ever. goes away. Like there's no comfort zone with you. No. Or anybody like high purples and above. Like the yeah, there's no zone that's comfortable <laughs> in done. that situation. Yeah, it's done. Uh, so you're going to have to expound upon that, to me at least. Maybe maybe our our uh, listeners get that. I don't get it. Uh, anyway, you should We're uh, stupid. build a comfort zone, but you shouldn't live in it. So I'm going to take that as, like, let's say I want to get a really good guard. And if I can get back to my guard, I feel pretty good. Um, but I'm not going to just live in my guard. I'm going to go for some sweeps, and if I get... You know, yeah. if I get past whatever, I'll try to get back to my guard comfort zone. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, if I think I have a good guard and and I have Croiler in my guard, yeah, I'm still not comfortable. <laughs> I'm not so, sure. So I think you're going to the far end to the degree. Yeah, yeah goddamn right there. I am. <laughs> so, so here's the way I take that is I really like working off of my back. I really do. It's it's where I'm really comfortable. Check. See what I did there? Check. And I think that's my comfort zone is definitely on my back. So I try to, if anyone gives me the chance to go on top, I was rolling with Rick. Rick went to his back to work on, I'm sure that's what he's working on right now. I, I saw that as a great opportunity to me. Opportunity, opportunity to me. Opportunity to me. Opportunity for me to uh, completely fuck up being on top. <laughs> Excellent. And I was successful at being a complete fuck up on top. <laughs> so I wasn't in my comfort zone of my back. Yeah. I think by the time you're, that's why I took yeah, it. I think by the time you're a blue belt. Now this is this is my opinion, is you should be very comfortable um, with defense. 
That, yeah, that way, yeah, I think that, that's huge. That way you'll be more comfortable trying stuff because if you end up in a bad position when that fails, you're like, ah, piss, I mounted, or ah, crap, I'm I in gave up control. my back because I do that a lot with yeah. my arm bars. I'll exactly. It's just weird like, arm bar. I'm like, oh, that didn't work. But if your defense <laughs> is solid, if you've worked on that up until you're a blue yeah. belt, then you're like, you're more apt to try stuff that might fail. Yeah, it's but, great. But Well, that's what you had me doing. That's yeah. what Paulie, Paulie's been my little Sherpa, as you were. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Sherpa, isn't it? Sherpa. Sherpa. That's the, that's the uh, I think you were thinking Sharpie. That's shoot. the marker. Yes. <laughs> With whiteboards. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Sharpie. <laughs> Sharpie. Is that a dog? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, Paulie it's just told me. late. Paulie just told me, just fucking work on just not dying. That's why I took it. But, yeah, just work on defense. Yep. And now I feel really good about throwing up arm bars from the bottom. And those are dangerous as fuck because <laughs> you either get stacked or if you completely miss it, they're on your back. <laughs> so, or at best side control. Yep. <laughs> so, but I'm, I don't mind. It's, it's, I guess it also helps. I don't care if you choke me or break my arm. So, but also it's, I, I feel comfortable enough to be able to defend myself and make it a good role for whoever's doing it. It doesn't just end up like, Oh, I gave you my back. Now you're choking me. Boo. Right. <laughs> and we're done real quick. <laughs> okay. Now, just for Kip, number 12, you should visit. Head- <laughs> what was that? I don't know what that was. I think that we were both doing something at the some, same time. Got all feedback you. Yeah. You should visit the HQ <laughs> of your association at least once in two years of training. <laughs> or at least send your better, more like a little half. I did. You did. I've hey, sent her a few that. times. See, I don't know. I'm what super you're, helpful. I don't know what you're bitching about. She's way better than me. <laughs> All right. Now, this last part is a little bit long. It's like a big run-on paragraph. Okay, we'll do you want me to take a nap while you're doing it? Yeah, go ahead. All right. All right. On a serious note, the most important thing to understand is that your belt may have a cool color or cool stripes, but they are not the place where your ability or hard work gets stored. It's just cloth and water-resistant tape. Maybe that's my problem. I don't have water-resistant tape on mine. They keep falling off. Anyway, my point here is understanding that just because you have a blue belt now instead of a white, it doesn't make you submission proof, doesn't make you instantly better the next day, doesn't give you any superpowers. Rather, it's just a representation of your hard work. Hard work, technique, knowledge, these are earned over a period of time. These things can't be taken away. These things are a product of your dedication. So, understand that a new belt is just another location on your journey, not the destination. So, it's imperative that we keep moving forward, that we stay dedicated, that we continue to search for total, pure depth and breadth of knowledge. Remember, this is a lifestyle, so treat it as such. Yes, I did 12 things just to fuck with Polly and Kipper. What a son of a bitch. Noted, (laughs) sir. Well played. Noted. Well played. Shit. Bastard. Hurtful. Always. I don't know. Got anything to add to that? Dumb shit that you shouldn't be doing by the time you get to a blue belt? Hmm. Um. Let me see. I don't think so. I think that's a pretty I think good list we covered. Yeah. Well, you know, we made it happen. Oh yeah. I think we covered everything. Yeah, we <laughs> covered everything. Croy left some our, fucking gaping in holes our, in, in our butt. vast knowledge. <laughs> vast. Hey, you put us two together. We equal one normal yeah, blue belt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Between you and I, we're a blue belt for sure. Maybe. Maybe. I think somebody tried to steal my blue belt. Could be debatable. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, just uh, really work on self-control, work on breathing, work on not using all your strength. Be your be, base, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good so point. that's 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 one that didn't come up. Uh, I'm I use two or three sweeps that are my go to. And most of mine are built on space. I like to get you away from me and use my legs to sweep. I'm not going to tell you what they are because. My a lot of people from my gym. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. So I use a scissor Everybody sweep. Everybody knows what you do. Yeah, I know. I have a scissor sweep. I have a few other ones, but my scissor sweep's quick, and it shouldn't be that effective. I mean, all the time. So get your base low. Get your base done. It's just so quick. It's just something you have. If you don't have a great base to the point where I have to, you know, anybody that's trying to sweep you is just, yeah, it's, don't be uh, tippy. Don't yeah, tippy. Don't be a fucking. What's the thing that doesn't fall down? Um, whatever they we oh, we wobble. Wobble. <laughs> wobbles. Wobbles, wobbles, they, they wobble, don't, but they don't, don't fall, fall down. down. Don't be that person <laughs> because 
instead of the weeble wobble that comes right back up, you just fall somebody's down. just you're just gonna fall down with someone on top of you. <laughs> Don't get to get no. back up. Yeah, if you got an issue with your base and posture, then you talk to your coach and fix that. Yeah, and post haste. Yeah, it's <clears throat> you're never going to be able to break someone's guard. You're, it's just it's not going to happen unless they just let you pass. It's not going to happen if you don't have a good base because they're just going to throw you off your base. Yeah, fix that shit quick. And if you don't have a good base by the time you're a blue belt, ooh, you did something wrong. True that. Right. Yeah, I agree. Couldn't agree more. Oh well, I don't have anything else. Okay. That's all I have. Sounds sad. Yeah. A little sad. And on that note. You you want to stop? I mean, yeah. You really want to stop? Yes. But I had other stuff to talk about. No, go ahead. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Paulie's ready for bed. Yes. All right, everybody. Peace out. Deuces. <laughs>